Now, this should easily make us 100 bucks. It's something that can be sold in so many different categories. This is a huge item to look for. Hey, it's done. We're going to dive today into a collectible area that covers, geez, like 20 different categories, maybe even more than that. Today, we're going to talk about buckles, vintage buckles. There are tons of different types of buckles out there. Now, some buckles can sell for ten, fifteen, even $20,000. And I'm not talking about necessarily clothing buckles. I'm talking about promotional advertising, military, historical, and awards as well. Now, category-wise, I'm just talking about collectibles today. You can find tons of expensive belts and buckles. If you go to the clothing section or even antiques, they can be in sporting goods also. So there are a lot of areas that you can find some buckles and that sell for some buku bucks. Now, as I said, you can find them in silver and gold. The first one on this list is a 14 karat gold world champion cowboy belt buckle. Now, these would be from a rodeo or something along that line. There are tons of those that are worth some major bucks. Spend some time looking through here. What I would also recommend is pecking off some of these individual categories here. Now, this is the transportation one. So everything in here should be tied to transportation. Harley-Davidson, that is a key area in belts and buckles. There are some Harley-Davidson belts and buckles that can go for four, five, six hundred, even up to a thousand bucks if you find the right one. The earlier, the better. They'll be worth far more any day of the week, at least from the ones that I've personally run into. You can kind of scan through here and get a good idea on some of the value. Some of these are tied to other clubs, other organizations. Some of these would also be tied to railroads in general. Here's a good example, Eastern Airlines flight test. This is a real buckle worn by a captain, may have flight tested uh, airplanes or something along that line. That's a perfect example. Now here's Taylorcraft, aircraft company. So it's a tailor craft, a company that made airplanes, 100 plus bucks as well. Most of these sorts will get you some good money. Even 80s belts and buckles here, like rock concerts, rock musicians, a kiss belt or kiss buckle will go for some phenomenal money as well. That's just a whole nother area. Entertainment collectibles, a Superman, a X-Men, any of that sort of thing will automatically carry some form of value right this minute. Now, probably the highest selling ones are in the military section. Routinely, you will see them going for two, three, four, five, six, even $10,000 for a single belt buckle. Now, in some cases, these were found in the ground with a metal detector. It's so one of the most prized ones you will be looking for are some of the Civil War ones, as you can see here. Most military in general, if they're rare enough, or if they don't show up here in this country that often, will garner some high value. So this is a huge area to look for without a doubt. They don't have to be complete, even if they're damaged like this fire pit recovered one here, they still will sell. So damaged, it's missing some, over 700 bucks. Now probably one of my favorite niche areas and buckles would be advertising. That would pretty much be similar to what I showed in the very beginning here. Advertising belts and buckles can also sell for some pretty darn good money. Here's a couple good examples. These John Deere Safety Awards. So if you worked for John Deere, they gave out belt buckles, pewter fancy ones. These are older, as you can see. They're mostly numbered. So when they first started giving those away, they started with number one. And obviously, they've been doing it for 30 plus years, as you can see. Soda shop ones. Mountain Dew, the hillbilly on here, a vintage original, 175 bucks. So value-wise, there is a ton of them out here. Figural ones like this uh, hog one up here. This is from a rock radio station. KSHE95, KSHE95, wherever that may be. I'm sure if you looked up those call letters, you'd be able to find it as well. So buckles in general is a massive area. Advertising here, Zippo, uh, Moline here. Just all across the board. Sports related, as I said. Sports is a whole other area in and of itself as well. Any kind of sports. Super Bowl, um, Major League, anything. NBA are hot as well. So any of that sort of thing. Buckles covers probably more categories than any other item that I can think of. Because not only is it a collectible, but it's a utilitarian item as well. It's meant to be able to be used if you wish to do that.
Now, this buckle is from Sun Oil, the oil company, what would better be known, I think, today as Sunoco, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is a service award. Now, the person who was given this worked there for 35 years without having any form of accident. And this is for an oil refinery employee. This is something you will run into. The little 35 up there can be replaced. On the back, you can see it just screws on. So they can use this same buckle design for various different awards and just change the amount of time. They could even just issue a new number for over here, even if that would be the case. Now, this is something you can usually get for just a couple of bucks if you dig into it. Now, even in some cases, I will check a thrift store for their belt section. And in some cases, you can run into some really good buckles still attached to a belt. People use them over or they were just donated from a closet. Now, we've sold hundreds of buckles. Probably 1000 buck range is where our top buckle was. And I've sold many for hundreds of dollars as well. They are very highly collectible. Some of them were only available to very specific people, like something like this. Some were for how many years they worked for a company. Some could be gold, some could be silver. Many of the ones that are awards for like how many years of service you have with the company could have real diamonds and real emeralds in them. Now, when I worked at Disney World, your five-year pin that you could wear on your name tag would have come with a real ruby. When you've been there for 10 years, some of them have diamonds in them. Some of them were 10 karat, even 12 or higher karat gold as well. So many companies did the exact same thing. So it's something you always need to be very cautious on, even the buckles, because there are some gold and silver ones out there, as well as gemstones, like I said. There's such a wide variety of them out there. I found them at thrift stores in the past. Geez, I found them at garage sales, church sales, flea markets, um, antique malls, antique auctions, auctions in general, estate sales even. Now, estate sales are great for these because they're easily missed. They could be anywhere in the house, anywhere in the estate itself. Now, here's a few more that are awards. Things that you should most definitely look for. If they have gemstones, as I said earlier, in the actual item like this one does here, it's probably a two-year, maybe a 12-year, maybe a 20-year award. This cost them a few bucks to make, and they were made special for them, only to be given out to employees. This sort of thing has kind of went way of the fad. Most people wouldn't wear a buckle like this, so they don't really produce them much anymore. Now, here's a sterling based with 10 karat gold highlights, and this is a Pontiac Motor Salesman Award. You can see the Pontiac Chief in there, the arrowhead. So basically, certain parts of the face, as you can see, were gold, and the rest of the buckle would be silver. This was a high-priced award. There are many of these on eBay, so this isn't one of those rare-off things you'll rarely find. It also has gemstones with possibly real rubies on the face of this. Went for over 400 bucks. Now, most industries had them. This is from Copper Queen Mine in Bisbee, Arizona. It's five-year safety awards. Safety awards were huge, so you can find those as well as years of service, salesmanship, and all of those sorts. Now, all of the award ones I've ever found, regardless of the company, have always sold very quickly and for decent money. So it is one of the biggest areas I would personally recommend looking for. Now, here's a Pepsi one as well. Soda companies did them for the drivers, for the plant operators. So you could find some for probably four or five different parts of Pepsi in one single town. Uh, they hit a goal, the opening of the plant, all of those sorts of issues they issued awards in. For those who helped open the plant, you may have gotten a buckle said opening day or inauguration of the plant or something along that line. They sell for pretty good money, as you can see here, well over 150 bucks. Most of the car companies issued them for various different departments, as you saw the salesmen's here. This is for the Chrysler Corp, and this is the maintenance department, the repair shop, basically. This is a service technician. He earned the Master Technician Award for seven years as well. So these can go for pretty decent money. I think this went in the $50 range or so. It's a nice item. It's neat. It's unique. It's something, again, you could run into. Now here's just one last one tied to the oil industry as well. Most of the oil ones will get you some pretty decent money. Now, this one shows up far more often than some of the other brands. If the name changed, if the oil company is out of production or hasn't existed in decades, they'll be worth more than one of these right here. Still a nice one. It's still sold for $55. Bucks. This person may have been 
been able to list it for 100 or so and got that out of it as well. If you only list it up for a buy it now with free shipping for 55 bucks, that's all it's going to sell for. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new videos or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Pull his string, he walks five feet from romper room.